Hey everyone, we're back with another What's Sold on eBay video. This is going to be on um, six days of sales for me on eBay while I was on vacation. So I had the vacation settings, settings in place with the delayed handling time. This is um, while we were up in Mammoth, California. So I um, had the vacation mode on. I used to not do that with the vacation settings. I used to just turn my store off completely, kind of check out for a while. But the reality is it's nice having some sales come through. Um, people have asked me, do you have any issue like with people not realizing that you have the vacation mode on? And the answer is yes, I have had that. I usually send out a little message to people once they buy, just kind of saying thank you for your purchase. Hope you saw that we were on vacation mode. Our orders will be shipping out on this date. And um, I kind of put that in the message and send it to every sale that happens. I think this year, not one person canceled. The year before, a few people did. They said they didn't notice that and they wanted to cancel and refund. So I just send that letter. I'll put it in the end of the video. I'll probably pop up on the screen so you guys can see it. But it's just a little thing I send out. I'm a little anal about certain things. And I send that out just in case someone's thinking it's going to get there super quick and they're going to have to wait a week or two before it finally shows up. I don't want them to, I'd rather just cancel the sale and be done with them and then only sell to the people who know and are okay with waiting. So let's get into it though. These are what sold during this time. Um, this is White Snake Music and Review DVD. Got this for, I think from the storage unit guy buy. I ended up selling for $14 ship, just a little rock and roll type DVD there. I do, I've done pretty well on them. Some of them are like eight to 10 bucks and there's some that go even up from there. A Scooby-Doo, uh, like a fleece style jacket. It's a women's, it's a large, extra large is the size. Um, the photo's a little dark, it's not that great. This is my old photos I used to do for clothing and um, I didn't have the lighting right as you can tell. But this one sold for $38.24 on sale. I ended up going in a padded flat rate. I think I paid only a couple bucks for that as well at a garage sale. Some Puma Astro Sala Casual Men's Shoes. I got these for five bucks. They looked really great, like barely worn if they if anyone ever did wear them. I got them from a source I have. I bought a bunch of shoes that day for five dollars each. This pair sold for 48 shipped full price. Had a best offer on there. This was way around the higher end for this type of shoe. A lot of people were selling them for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. I listed mine a little higher and I got it. Um, here's another Greg shorthand uh, simplified manual. You're going to see these pop up over the next few weeks. This one sold for 14 shipped. This was from the $950 book buy that we had. Here's some books, not from that buy, but these are Patchwork Mysteries. Look out for these ones. Look out for the uh, young adult books by Guidepost. Um, there's like a Tea Room Mysteries, something quilt. I don't know what it is, but there's a bunch of different ones. Um, this one sold, for, I paid a dollar each, so there were 19 of them, paid a dollar each at an estate sale. First day of the sale, bought them all, they sold for 115 shipped, which was a great deal. I ended up actually upgrading shipping to FedEx shipping on this one. It ended up being like 18 bucks or something like that. So rather than pay media mail and just kind of take the chance of it not arriving or with all the delays with the post office, I upgraded it and ended up um, being worth it in my opinion because I only had 19 bucks into it. So a pretty good deal there. These were also from the $950 book buy. Not something you're probably going to find, but it's a bunch of... I didn't crop this photo either, which is kind of bad, but it's a typewriter mystery game book. So, like, basically the the book asks you to type certain things in the typewriter and it makes, like, a picture or whatever or some kind of design. Um, these were just thrown in there. They had a lot of, like, uh, typewriter and computer and keyboard training courses in this, this books that I had bought. So these were just are listed on there. was no comps, no way to tell. But they sold for 40 bucks on the best offer, so that was pretty cool. We ended up selling this Bell, a red phone. This actually was um, in a video I had where I had a haul from storage unit guy. This is months and months and months ago. Um, this is actually in the thumbnail, this video, this phone and another one. It finally sold for 69 bucks on the best offer. Had it listed at 90 which wasn't the high end. I knew that, but I just wanted to see what kind of offers would come through. It's that nice red color one, but it got 69 bucks. I was happy with that. It did work. I tested it out, um, so pretty good there. Then we have a pair of Jordan uh, shoes. These are size 14 Air Max, like the old school is what I think what, the, what they're called or whatever. I'm not like a shoe expert, but I got these for 10 bucks from a garage sale and they were in pretty good shape. I cleaned up the white with a little bit of the uh, Magic Eraser and they looked pretty nice and they sold for 55 shipped on the best offer. So pretty happy with that. I think I had them listed at 65. Here's a Scotch Bellows Duck Call. This one sold for 18 shipped. I mentioned I bought a bunch of those duck calls and stuff, and I've sold probably three or four of them so far. I think we have two or three left. That one sold for 18 shipped, not a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch there. A Columbo, this is the second season of Columbo, sold for 12 bucks. I bought this for $2. There was a sale I went to, and they had a bunch of 
TV series I never heard of before. A lot of stuff by Acorns Media and different stuff that sold pretty well. This was in there. I didn't scan anything because I know the guy pretty well. I just grabbed it for two bucks. I'd never heard of it and it sold for 12. So not an amazing deal, but definitely still worth it and something to keep an eye out for. Usually those DVD series that I've never heard of are ones I want to take a look at though because a lot of times they have some value. This is from the big video game buy from that lady. Um, this was Pikmin 1 and 2. This sold for 120 shit for the two games. I even quoted her what I thought this was worth, and I did not quote that high because I did not know it was this valuable right now. But 120 shipped on that was an awesome, awesome sell for that, and the buyer did give me good feedback. Sparks, Hello Young Lovers CD. This one sold for 28 shipped. That's from the Rock and Roll Buy, so pretty good deal there for a used CD. Can't beat 28 bucks. These are some Crocs. I guess they're called the Yukon style. Um, they're a men's size 10. Uh, there was, they had some marks and sc stuffs on there, scuffs on them. They were definitely used, but Crocs, especially the non-typical Croc that you think when you think of Croc, like the more stylish ones or whatever, seem to do okay. Um, this pair sold for 30 bucks, and they were only a dollar at a garage sale. I'm pretty sure they went first class based on weight. Here is a Philadelphia Eagles pro player, like a puffer style almost jacket. This is a size medium, so a smaller size, but it did sell for 50 bucks. Got it from storage unit guy one day. Couldn't beat it. 50 bucks on that. I was super happy with that offer. I think I had it listed at 60 or 65 and took a best offer of 50. Here's another pair of Crocs. These are like a, it's kind of the same idea I'm talking about, like more style. They have like rhinestones and like a little wedge on there. It's a women's size 10 though. These ones were a dollar at a garage, so I actually bought two pairs, this one and then a white pair with like a beige strap on the top or whatever, but they sold for 25 shipped on a best offer. An Eagles Anthology guitar book, this one sold for $12.59, almost 13 bucks. It sold on sale, this is from the Rock and Roll by as well. I've sold a lot of those song books, those anthology books, a lot of them have sold really well. I've been super happy with those, plus easy to ship, just put them in a bowl mailer and they're on their way. We have a Martha Stewart uh, String Lace Punch. This one sold for 28 shipped. This is something where I had just listed it right before we left to go on vacation. I think I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and it sold for 28 shipped really quickly. So I was happy. A little tip on these Martha Stewart punches. Look out for the Halloween ones. The pumpkin, the witch. I think there's a skeleton. I don't know if there's a ghost, but I've always sold those ones. I haven't looked at comps in a while, but if you find the ones that have like a pumpkin or the Halloween theme ones, some of them do really, really well. Here's a Mel McDaniels CD. This one was just in a big box of CDs for 10 bucks that I got. It sold for 19 ship. Baby got her blue jeans on. I did not think this one would be worth something, or at least not this valuable, but 19 shipped on a used CD, again, is a really great deal. Uh, this is from the big book buy, the $950 worth of books that we bought. It's Alcoholics Anonymous. This is the 1976 edition. It sold for 25 ships, so not something, again, I would probably think would be valuable since they make a bunch of these books periodically, I'm sure. They have different volumes or editions and stuff like that, but it still sold for 25 Here's a Stentura Protégé Stenograph machine. It does not have the power cord. It does come with the case. I listed it as is because I couldn't get a power cord that worked with it. To be honest, I just looked quickly and didn't see one that I could order. I probably could have found one that had the right voltage and may have fit, but I just ended up opting out to list it as is. It sold for 148 shipped and went global shipping. I never heard back, so I'm assuming everything was okay. It may have worked perfectly, who knows, but 148 shipped on that was a really good deal. Uh, at Griswold number six, the Erie, um, let's call it, we call it the Slant logo. This is a cast iron skillet. Had it listed at 100 bucks. Ended up selling on the best offer for 70. This one did have a lot of wear to it. I mean, it definitely um, was not in perfect shape, but some people want that. They want the seasoned pan and everything like that, and they're okay with it. But it took a best offer of 70, which I thought was very fair. I love selling the cast iron Griswold stuff. I always seem to find a buyer for it eventually. A Commodore 64. This is a cool, this is a little, little manual, like a little three page manual thing, like a little quick guide about the Commodore 64. It was in the big $950 book buy just sitting in there. There was no comps on it. It just had a little bit of information, but it sold for 20 bucks. So one of those things where I was super happy that I took the time to list it because it sold really quickly. Here's a Henkel's um, International. Now, this is the orange handle one. I've never seen one like this before. It came with the case. Uh, it was from Brazil, I guess. I've sold Henkel's before and some of them do really, really well. This one I paid a dollar for it at a state sale, listed it for 50 bucks because there were no comps. I had no way to really comp it. So I just started high, wanted to feel out some offers. Pretty much got no offers on it ever until someone finally offered 35 bucks and now they own it. So good deal there. 
Uh, another Craftsman charger, I've mentioned you guys, I bought a bunch of those uh, battery chargers for drills and stuff like that. This is the Craftsman one. This one sold for 48 shipped. I ended up with two of these. I may have, this may be the second one that sold or I have one more to sell. It was a great buy for 10 or 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly, but I bought a whole bucket of chargers. Most of them have sold for like 35 plus. Uh, it's been awesome. Love selling those. Here's a Mega Blocks. This is a set number 97011. I'm pretty sure this was drop shipped. When it sold, it sold for 70 shipped. I got this for $5.99 at a thrift store near me. I didn't even know it was sealed. I thought this one, I bought another one. You're going to see it later. That one sold. That was open. So I thought they were both open. But I know the Halo Mega Blocks do well. Turned out this one was sealed. So I sold it for 70 shipped. So that was a great deal. Um, here's one of my best buys of last year. I bought a bunch of RIT laundry treatment. I bought a whole bag full. I should take a, I have a picture. Maybe I'll pop on the screen, but it was full of these little guys. They're just little boxes and I paid 30 bucks for all of it. And um, I sell them in lots of five for anywhere from 25 to, or 20 to 25 bucks. Most of the time they've gone for either 22.49 on 10% off sale or they sold for 25. This set sold for 22.49 on, on a 10% off sale. They go first class shipping. I've probably sold 10 lots so far. I've only spent 30 bucks, so we're over 200 in sales, and I still probably have enough to sell 20 or 30 more lots. It's crazy how many I have. It was a great deal. Super slow, though, in the sense that it's going to take me quite a few years to finally move through them all, but we've already made all of our profit and our money in profit, and we can just make profits selling them slowly by every couple weeks selling one, and we'll make some more money, and I'm okay with that. Uh, here's an ammunition um, box. This one was like spray painted silver. I thought it looked kind of cool, so I grabbed it and I got it from Storage Unit Guy. Ended up selling for 68 bucks, which was an okay price because it went to Arizona and the shipping was only like 15 bucks to ship it. So I was pretty happy. I could have got burned on that one. It wasn't too heavy, but it definitely was not light and it was a, a decent size there. So um, could have probably spent about 30 on shipping had it went to the East Coast, but it ended up working out for me. A Jansport. This is one of those like leather bottom backpacks. They always sell for me if I can get the 90s style one. This one had some marks on it, but still sold for 35 shipped on the best offer. I look out for the ones that are the corduroy uh, Jan Sports. The older ones, they can do very well. Uh, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Never heard of this DVD, but it was in a big DVD buy and it sold for $8.09 on sale. So I was happy to move another DVD. Here's some more books from that book buy, The Continuity of the Bible. These ones sold for 30 shipped for five books. So just lotted those together. Uh, this is a counted cross stitch. This one did not sell too well. It sold for $9.74 on sale. I was on a 25% off sale. So that's usually the biggest sale I'm running is to get rid of the oldest inventory. This one sold for $9.74. Again, happy to get rid of it. I still buy cross stitch. Certain ones seem to do better than others though. Uh, here's an old, old listing. This is a Pepsi Cola Surfing Waves like Riverside hat. It's a super cool hat. The picture's not that great. Obviously it's um, not just Pepsi because it has the Riverside on there. So it kind of probably deters some people from buying it because they may not want, they may just want Pepsi or whatever, but it ended up selling for 12 bucks on sale. Um, I paid a dollar for it. So it took forever to sell years and years to sell, but it finally did. So that was good. Um, another book from the big book by this is the Royal Canadian Air Force exercise plans for physical fitness. I think we all need a copy of this in our lives. We're always just wondering what the Canadian Air Force is doing and how they just remain so fit. So uh, this sold for 20 bucks though. Sorry for my sarcasm there, but uh, 20 bucks shipped on that. I was surprised again, anyone would want that, but it sold like within two days. We went on vacation and it sold like right away after that. Here's a Western Digital. This is a one terabyte external hard drive. I got three external hard drives, a bunch of songbooks, four Ryan Spooners or Rain Spooners, whatever it is, Spooner shirts and some odds and ends stuff for 30 bucks in the state sale. And I think just on the hard drives alone, I probably have sold, I'm gonna sell like 200 and something bucks on the hard drive. This one sold for 55 shipped. Hooked it up to my computer, tested it out, cleared out the um, old stuff and then reformatted the um, partition or whatever for the hard drive. That probably doesn't make sense to some of you, but if you Google it, it's pretty easy to do. Um, and it sold 55 shipped, so happy with that. Here's the other Mega Blocks, the Halo one. This is a big set, this is 97129. It's a bunch of sealed bags, but it is missing a couple of bags and it's missing the figures and some other stuff. I put that in the listing. Guy got it. He paid 140 ship. They listed it at 200. He paid 140 ship. He lived in California. He got it, left me neutral feedback and said it was missing pieces, which I felt was descriptive in the part that it said missing figures, you know, missing bags. 
see the photos and all that stuff, but apparently not. I guess he wanted it broken down exactly what pieces were missing and he was unaware. But he did give me neutral, which is not so bad. It's, I only paid... And I paid $19.99 or $14.99 for this, and it sold for $140, so that was awesome. And I went to California, so shipping was cheap. Uh, 30 Pokemon Shooter Marble Bags and Marble. There's 30 marbles and there's 3 bags. These are like the little marbles that have the Pokemon characters um, on them or whatever. I think I paid... Sorry, the phone's ringing. And we're back. That was actually the fax machine. If you guys heard that for a second, I apologize. I, someone was faxing something here. So um, this uh, set of marbles, I think I ended up paying like... 10 bucks for these at a garage sale something like that and um, they sold for 100 shipped on a, on a 20 percent off sale i listed them pretty high some people will sell individual marbles based on what pokemon it is because some people might want to buy a certain one that's another option i figured just lob together they did take a little while to sell but i was higher on the price but i was happy with 100 bucks on that so that was cool two mod uh, dvds seasons two and three both were sealed got these from the thrift store for 3.99 each and they ended up selling for 45 shipped. The buyer did send me a message, make sure you wrap them in cardboard and protect them so they don't get damaged in shipment. Some people get real frustrated by emails like that. I didn't feel like that was really, you know, like rude or anything like that. I felt like it was a fair email. Um, and they were brand new sealed and they wanted to make sure they arrived probably in good shape. So I ended up putting them in some cardboard and bubble wrapping them and then putting them in a... I think I put them in a bubble mailer still, but they had enough protection. They sold for 45 ship. They arrived safely, and he did leave me great feedback and sent me a message thanking me for the shipping. So really appreciate when they um, you know, make a request and they're happy with, um, with how it turned out. So 45 shipped on that. We have a Catch a Wave book. This is also in the Rock and Roll by, I guess, is a book, a book about the Beach Boys. This one sold for $10.79 on sale. Simpsons Road Rage for Xbox sold for $8.99. Uh, this one was on sale as well for 10% off. Here's the New York Times Great Songs of the 60s book. I think this was where I got the um, hard, the external hard drives at as well. This was thrown in there. And this one sold for $12.99. Free shipping and media mail. Pretty easy. A Star Wars Clone Wars. This is Kato Parasiti. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but even though I love Star Wars, I don't know all the characters' names. This one was on sale and it sold actually sold on the best offer for $20. Bucks. It originally was listed at $28. Took a best offer of 20 on it, so happy with that. Someone asked me about how I ship these figures. I usually um, wrap them in a little bubble wrap and put them in a 10 by 8 by 6 box, and then I cut the top off or kind of trim it down, so it ends up being like 10 by 8 by 3, and it ends up going first class usually. So that's how I do that. A Warhammer 40,000 rule book. This one sold for 9.59. Sold on sale. Not a great buy, but it was just in a stack of books, so. Um, I guess it didn't really didn't probably have little into it if anything, but it did sell for 9.59 on sale. Designing um, Creative Innovative Applications. This one sold for $22.99. This book was from the My Pet Monster Buy. Again, 23 shipped on that. A San Diego Chargers Hawaiian shirt, size large. You know, they're not the San Diego Chargers anymore, but it, felt, it sold for $28 shipped on sale, 20% off. I think I had four or five bucks into it. I like the, um, the Hawaiian shirts for sports teams. They seem to do really well for me, even if it's not the Ryan Spooner ones. The other ones still will sell. Two Mickey Mouse scrubs, two XL long sleeve scrubs, sold for 20 H. If I sold these ones before, they were returned to me because the buyer said that they had a smell to them. I got them back and could not smell anything. Asked my wife, she didn't smell anything. We still washed them, relisted them, and sold them for 20 H. Shipped. So they go on a padded flat rate. A surprise attack by Tora Tora. This is an old CD I've had for quite a while now. It sold for 16 shipped. So that was a pretty good deal there. Pro Player Men Chicago Bulls Jacket Size Large. Um, this was a one. I spent 50 bucks on five Bulls jackets. Some of them, one of them was a custom one. It still sold for like 50, 40 or 50 bucks. There was a kid's one that sold for like 20. And there was a couple of men's ones. Got them from one of my sources. I basically had like 10 bucks in each of them or something like that. This one sold for 45, shipped on a best offer. I thought that was a fair price, especially being a size large. It's not a huge size, and it was basketball season was getting ready to start, so... Uh, or resume, I guess would be the proper word, but ended up um, selling it for 45 and I was happy about that. So that's everything, guys. That's all the sales from while I was on vacation. One thing I noticed was there were a lot of bigger sales, like I had the big Mega Block sales, we had some of the big jackets go, um, $100 Pokemon things. So that was kind of cool to see some, some bigger dollar items move during that time. And I would say I saw a lot less of my uh, multi quantity or items that kind of maybe needed an instant, like. 
a lot of people weren't buying video games that they could buy because they, if they were going to buy them, they buy them from someone else because they could get shipped to them right away rather than having to wait eight days or whatever it was, ten days. So a lot of the stuff that was more unique seemed to sell for me during this time, which worked out beautifully. So I was happy with that. I'll try to pop on the screen here what I wrote, or at least at the end of the video, um, so you guys can kind of see what I, the message I was saying in case you were curious. There's no need to do that, though. Do whatever is best for you. I'm sure most people see it. I just do it because I'm a little anal, and if someone's going to be kind of butthurt about um, not getting the item right away, I'd rather kind of have them cancel the sale and move on ahead of time. That way, um, you know, I'm dealing with people who want to wait. And most people responded to my message and said, hey, I saw that, no worries at all. Enjoy your vacation with your family. Uh, just ship it out to me on that Monday and it'll be fine. Most people were honestly very, very resp responsive and res respectful of what was going on and super understanding to everything. So that's kind of how life is though. Most people are really great to deal with. It's just a few bad apples out there that ruin it for the rest of us. But hope everyone had a, um, is having a good time out there, having some good sales preparing for Q4 because it'll be here before you know it. Um, I'm in California right now and things are like the whole California state is basically burning. So if you've been paying attention on the news, there's like fires everywhere, smoke in the air all the time. So hopefully it will clear up. It's kind of getting tired of that. I guess a uh, gender reveal party actually started one of the fires, which was kind of crazy. So either way, I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.